Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam, and if you love luxury fashion, then you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like and subscribe. Check out my Instagram below for all of the latest updates, and today, let's get right into it. In today's video, I have another issue of folk that I will be reviewing. As you know, I did already upload my February folk issue review. However, I do want to do all of the issues from 2023. So since I did miss January's, I do have January's right here. However, this is actually the folk from France. So without any further ado, let's dive right into this and see what folk France has to offer. Starting with the January's cover of Folk France, we have Lily Collins from Emily in Paris. So cute with her Mew Mew miniskirt. Once we open it up, we always have the best pages. Like this is the Louis Vuitton Cappuccino bag. And this bag is so cute. I am dying for this handbag. It's so beautiful, especially in black. It's definitely on my list to get. Here we have another look at the bag, but this jacket is so beautiful. Louis Vuitton does make some of the best clothing and I would love to start collecting some. The third page, it's very reminiscent of my last Folk video because we did have some of the same Dior outfits in it, but this one is so cute. We have more of like a red dress style. The other one was more gowns. This one is more like kind of more up to date dresses. Another page of Dior and the model in the back totally looks like Timothy Chalamet but I really do love the hat. I actually would love to get a giant hat like that. Now this is my favorite page of the entire magazine because we do have Ryan Gosling and all of this Gucci. And this photo, honestly, it's just so iconic. I kind of want to cut it out and hang it up because this is just like goals when it comes to like having a Gucci collection. And Ryan Gosling, I'm currently obsessed with, especially because he is going to be playing Ken from Barbie. And we all know I am obsessed with Barbie. So since he is now Ken, he is now forever in my heart. Next we have Chanel and she totally looks like Jenny from Blackpink. I'm obsessed with her pink outfit. So adorably cute. Chanel is becoming very popular for their SLGs, their small leather goods, like mini purses like this. So cute. And I actually do like the t-shirt. It's very like Nickelodeon, but if Chanel was Nickelodeon. Now we have Prada, and of course I have to showcase Prada because we all know it is one of my favorite brands right up there with Versace. And this is a holiday edition handbag, this gold one. So cute, but very, very golden. For YSL, I am loving the all black look. The black silhouettes are so cute, especially with the rocks and the water in the background. So earthy and very, very cute. Again, like in my last video, we have a bunch of Fendi baguettes. Now the little Fendi baguettes on the hats, I think are so adorable. And the colorful sweater to the left, I can definitely tell that that sweater would be so comfortable and very, very cuddly. Once again, we have the Mew Mew and this was featured in my last video. However, if you haven't seen the last video, I do talk about this handbag. I really do want this handbag. It's just such classic Mew Mew and I would love to have it. Now we have Burberry and Burberry is so beautiful. This dress is actually so surprising because the embroidery of it and then the sheerness, this is just so cute. Now I've actually never seen this dress before, but I am totally loving it and this is just so beautiful. Forwarding to the Dior jewelry section, this ring, so beautiful and so iconic. I would die for this ring. This is just so, so beautiful. Check out that giant rose with the diamonds. Now, I do believe that the diamonds are actually the ring, not the actual flower, but they should 100% put these diamonds on that flower and make this entire thing a ring, and I would totally die for it. This is just so beautiful. And if this entire thing was the actual ring, that would be so insanely expensive, but so worth having. More for diamonds, we do have Bagari, and this diamond necklace is so, so beautiful. I believe Kim K actually bought a vintage one from them, and it is so insanely expensive. I think Kris Jenner even has it too. That one would totally be like locked in like a fault and a safety deposit because it is just so pricey, but so cute, and I would honestly love to start collecting diamonds. I will say that looking into the folks, I am discovering a lot of new brands, especially when it comes to high-end jewelry, so that is really, really cool. So here we have a brand called Tasaki, and this one is just so cool too. Now, I'm loving Loving like the pearls and the shapes of all these rings and the diamonds. But also I must mention on the left side, we do see the earth and it is not in the greatest state. Very, very sad. And we really do have to start taking better care of the planet and start caring more for each other. Now, yes, we have Beyonce, but the real star of this page is this giant silver outfit. So, so, so Alexander McQueen. I totally love this. This totally needs to be paired with the Alexander McQueen boots. 
and that would be so iconic, the armadillo ones. So amazing. I would love to have this outfit. Now this is probably my favorite page out of this entire magazine because this outfit from Schiaparelli is so amazing. This one is 100% like old Hollywood mixed with Corella de Ville. I would kill for this top. So, so amazing. This one, hands down, bravo, absolutely in love with it. The next page, of course, I had to show you because we have the Balenciaga Hourglass bag. Now, I know Balenciaga, they have a lot of controversy right now, but in all honesty, I don't care. <laughs> when it comes to handbags, they always come back in style. Just because someone who works for the brand makes a bad decision doesn't mean like the entire Hourglass collection is a bad bag. I have the Hourglass, I love using it, I will not stop using it. Just because somebody made a bad choice, it has nothing to do with the actual handbag. So because of that, I really don't mind it and I had to showcase this because the green bag is just so bright. And with that crystal B for the logo, it's just absolutely everything. Ooh, this is a really good page too because we have my favorite model of all time, Bella Hadid, well actually I do like Kendall Jenner a lot too, but Bella Hadid is just so like oomph. And we do have the brand for Swarovski and it's just so beautiful. Now this is all crystals, they don't really do diamonds, they might, but they would be like insanely expensive of course. But for their crystals, it is really cute. I honestly love her outfit, the giant bow on the back, and that giant necklace, I think I have to look into because I would love to layer those on myself as well. So I honestly think I will look into those necklaces. Now this to the right, I honestly have no idea what this is. I'm trying to like zoom in. I think it's even like a spoon and fork set to be honest, but I think it's really cute decoration. Like I would love to have this just sitting on my dining room table because with the apples or I think it's cherries on top, so cute and you know, it's just really pretty. Now this Prada perfume, I have to say I do not recommend this at all. Now we all know I love Prada and this is a super cute bottle for display, but this smells absolutely horrible. I did try it. It literally smells like the medicine nobody wants to take or even smell. It's like that dark grape one or it's just very very medicine-y and it's just so horrible. The second you smell it you can already like taste the medicine in your throat and you're like oh no. So this is 100% not Adam approved. Now this page had quite a few different things like the jewelry on the right is so beautiful. I really, really do love the ring with the pink incorporated in it. It's just so beautiful. That's definitely a ring that I would love to have. And then the sheer top on the left is just so cute as well. Now this outfit I have to show you because I think this is just so beautiful. This is very, very Alexander McQueen. And if he did like a collection based on like Ireland or Scotland. Now, if I am wrong on like the area, then definitely comment it down below. But this does remind me of like kilts and like the bagpipes. So this is so cute and just so cool how it is constructed and made. Very fairy with like the Alexander McQueen twist but this one I really do like it. So yes the outfit on the right is really fun. It is made with pink tulle and it looks very like cherry-esque. However the outfit on the left is what I really love because this is just so Y2K. Throw on a cute little Prada bag over the shoulder and just go out the door. I love the sheerness of it and I love the fact that it just looks so early 2000s. So you know I definitely love this look. This page is just so cute because on the left we do have chiffon sheep with a giant teddy bear head with some diamonds on top of it. And then on the right it does look like a Gucci ad but this is not a Gucci ad. It does very much look like it because of all the cats and how it is so like editorial like that. And I have to say that the cats are like the best part of this. I just think it's so funny and just so cute and such a great ad. Next we have this which I'm not sure how to explain it besides one word which is art. <laughs> we have the Balenciaga bag on this. I don't even know what to call it. Is it a horse? Is it a dog? I'm pretty sure it's like a horse or maybe like a pony but this is just such a cute bag and I really really do love it. This is the one that in the, my mini fashion video I did get the mini version of this handbag. 
so cute. Definitely adore that. And then on the left, you know me, I love pink and I love anything feathers or fur. So, you know, this is just so beautiful with the pink feathers and then the like orange jewels. Next on the right, we do have a beautiful Saint Laurent dress. And I'm totally loving this dress because it does give me Kate Hudson vibes from the movie How to Lose a Man in 10 Days. And this is just such a beautiful chic outfit. Also reminds me of Hailey Bieber. And this is just so effortlessly beautiful. Here we have a giant black dress, which is just so beautiful beautiful 100% like a Chian Batista vibe. I do have a Chian Batista video so if you would like to check that out and get to know that designer a little bit more definitely check out my video up top but this dress so so beautiful. Now the jacket on the right it might be Louis Vuitton there are a couple of names up on the top of the page however I can't really decipher it but this does look like an Alexander McQueen jacket so of course you know I love it. Like I said anything pink and feathers I totally love it. Here we have a beautiful ostrich feather Valentino dress and this is just so so beautiful and just so much of everything imagine this blowing in the wind and cuddling up in this so beautiful and 100% love it next we actually do have Alexander McQueen and this is very much of like a dominatrix vibe it looks like she just totally dominated him and this is just so sexy and cool here we have Dior and Balenciaga in this beautiful lace outfit now, I honestly would love a lace outfit like this, but I definitely want it to be from Dior, and I do want it to be in the color white. Now, the pants on the left are absolutely everything. I love the detail of them. I'm obsessed with how the pockets are and the zippers, and then where the knee-high boot ends and how it, like, cuts off right there. So cute, so fashionable. This entire look, I actually want to copy it because it's so cute. And yeah, this is so, so amazing. You know, I had to include the tank top on the left because it is a Prada one. Now the Prada tank top, I really do want it. I wish they did make a men's version. I'm not exactly sure if they did, but if they did, the Prada logo on the front would have to be a little bit bigger because I think the proportion might make a little bit more sense on the man's body, but so cute. And I would love to have a tank top like this. When it comes to this look, I honestly have no idea what they're doing. The bracelets are just a huge 100% no. You know, you just want to throw them over the stick and like how you like toss like the donut game. Maybe it's even called like the donut game where you like toss a donut on a stick. That is totally what the outfit is giving me. And then from here, it honestly just gets worse because on her arm, what is that? That is like a funnel, an accordion, you know, those like silicone things that literally look exactly like that. Like, what is that? This I totally do not understand. Once again, I feel like she fell in like a ball pit at Chuck E. Cheese and this is totally just giving me like Chuck E. Cheese playset. To end it off, on the left we have this beautiful pink Dior inspired gown. Now I do believe this is honestly Armani based on the names on the page. So this is an Armani dress I believe, but it does remind me of Dior. So you know, very, very cute pink and sheer. And then last but not least, on the back of the magazine, we do have a perfume ad for Shador by Dior. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below, tell me what photos you really liked from this issue and what articles you liked as well, and have a great day. Au revoir.